Welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. In this video, we're going to go ahead and assemble the Fox Alien Riser. This is a laser engraving machine that only takes about 15 minutes to be able to put together and you're ready to be able to carve. So today we're going to assemble it and we're going to make the first uh, test on moving around the work area. So let's get started. A day in the shop with Pop Paul and Pop Paul's Workshop. To support my channel, please go to patreon.com slash pawpaws workshop. In today's video, we're going to be assembling and testing out the new Fox Alien laser engraving machine. Before we begin the video, I want to remind everybody that right down below in the description, I do have a link to the Fox Alien store. So you can look at all the different products that you can choose from, and it's a very nice selection. It is a perfect entry level beginning type CNC and laser engraving uh, machines that are budget friendly. Also, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it so you won't miss out on any of the videos. I have a lot planned, including engraving on ceramic tile, um, canvas, and a lot of other different types of materials. In addition, I want to take the CNC machine and we're going to upgrade it to where we have the quarter inch bits into the spindle and we're going to be doing some carving with those uh, types of bits. And you're not going to want to miss out. So let's get back to today's video and let's put together the Fox Alien Riser Laser Engraving Machine. Now I've taken everything out of the box and laid it out and you can see that this machine basically is about 90% already put together. All I need to do is attach the rails and connect the wires and we're ready to start engraving. Now this is the manual that comes with the engraving machine and it's very, very detailed. It gives you very nice step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to put it together and it's all in color. So very nice color pictures to be able to see and to show you exactly the parts that you need and where they go. This machine can easily be put together in less than a half an hour. Now one thing that I really like is they give all of the parts in this nice little plastic container and it's very easily labeled so that you can open it up and you know exactly which part is which and there's no guess because it's all clearly labeled right here. The first thing we need to do on all of the corners, we need to go ahead and put the um, button head socket bolt and the T-nuts in position. And to be able to do that, it takes the M510. And if you look right here, there's the M510 and there's five of them. So what I'm gonna do right now is get two of them And that's going to go right in there. And the T-nut will just screw right onto it. And I'll do the same thing on the back. So that's the first step done. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. Put that screw in. Screw the T-nut on it. Flip it around. Do the same thing to the other side. And that step is completed. Now the next thing that I need is the M5 by 25, and that's these longer screws. And they're gonna be fitting right into this area. And they're going to screw into this threaded part. And the little button head uh, screws and the T-nuts that we just put in, they're gonna slide right in there. So that slides in just like that. 
And then we'll screw this in position. Okay, that one's tight. Use the other Allen wrench and we'll tighten that. And I'll do the same thing back here. This will just slip right in here. Just like that. And we'll tighten this one right here. So now this is completely assembled, nice and rigid. I'm going to measure this across this way. And this is, that is 28 and 11 sixteenths. And this is 28 and 11 sixteenths, so it's exactly square. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put the gantry on. And to do that, we're going to need the M520s. This has a slot right here that the wires actually need to run through. And that's going to be the same on both sides. You can see the hole on the other side right there. And this wire needs to slip through that. So that's very important. If you do it any other way, that wire is going to be pinched. So the first thing I'm going to do is let that wire come through just like that. And then I'm going to take and I'll do the same thing to the other side. So this is the actual laser here, and this little plate will go on to the back of it right here. To put this piece of acrylic on, you need to be aware of how this is recessed. And now we're going to use the button head screws to put that in, and that's what it looks like right there. And those will drop right down inside. just like that. Now you want to make sure that you do not put it on the wrong side because the other side is not recessed and that would stick out and it would not go together properly. So you must make sure that you put the V button head screws in this way so that they will be recessed below the surface when they're tightened. Now from here I'm going to go ahead and put this onto the laser. Now these don't have to be real tight. They just need to be snug. If you over tighten them, you run the risk of damaging the acrylic and you certainly don't want to do that. Now I can snug all of them up. And now to be able to put this onto the Z axis, you have these other four holes. They're going to line up right here on the Z axis. And we're going to use the hex socket head bolts on that and this will go on just like that and we'll tighten all four of those To connect the wires is very straightforward. You have the Y axis for the right axis. It is going to plug right down into this point. You have this one, which is the laser 12 volt. 
We also have the x-axis. I want to plug that one in first. That one will go right here. And now I'll plug this one in. This laser will connect right into this position. And the last remaining wire is the X home. And it comes right up in here. And it will plug in right there. Now the wiring is all complete. Now on this one, you have this knob right here that controls your Z-axis. You also are provided this cylinder for the height measurement. And this can just be lowered just like that down to there. And that is the perfect height. If you put different thickness material in, let's say we have this piece. And then we can just raise this up, slide that underneath and lower it down until it just touches, and that's the adjustment. So now that would be set on the Z-axis. You have your USB cable, which will plug into your computer. Now the USB cable will simply plug into here. Power cable will plug in right there. Let's go ahead and plug this in now. And we'll make the first few moves with the machine. I also have the cable right here for the offline controller. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. So with the offline controller now, I can move this very easily. Move it left and right. And I can move it backwards and forwards. Alright, so I can't wait to get a file loaded so that I can actually do some engraving. Now, don't forget, please subscribe so that you won't miss out on the other videos that I'll be doing shortly where I'm actually engraving with this laser. I want to thank everybody for watching today, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you on the next project where I'm engraving using this Fox Alien laser.